Welcome back. For the first time this season, it was the guys who took the top three spots on Dancing with the Stars. 80s night, but also was guys night as well when it came to uh, scoring the, the best. Yeah, the guys finally led the pack this time. And <laughs> 80s, of course, you just got to love it. I mean, I was in the 80s and I love the music. It's a lot of fun. It was nice to see the retro look last night a little bit. Yeah, a lot of people taking trips down memory lane with the show. Well, we will start with the top. And this is becoming a key contender in the in this season. J.P. Martinez has uh, gotten his first 10, or J.R. Martinez has gotten his first 10 of the season with the summer that was described as sexy. It really was. If you watch him dance with Karina, they look fantastic. I mean, you just can't say enough good things about the guy. He looks like a professional. Every every week he's proven he can do more and more. His technique was very solid. Footwork was a little bit slow at times because of the speed of the dance, but he would always catch it up and he'd make it up with his partner. Definitely looks good when he's connected with her. It's hard to be by yourself, but he did a great job. It was interesting because, the, you know, you always get a little fooled in the rehearsals and he acted like he was having a hard time getting in touch with his Latin roots, but <laughs> after you saw the final performance, he was doing just fine. Oh, yeah. I think he's really a contender for the top place this season. <laughs> well, second place, this kind of came as a surprise to me. Somebody who's really shown some growth in this competition, and it goes to show you that folks can make a lot of improvements. Rob Kardashian tied for second, his best showing of the competition so far, with a 25 for his rumba with Cheryl. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by that. I really, actually, to be honest with you, I thought he might not make it this time. He's really improved greatly. If you watch the rumba, it tells a story. <laughs> it's a very romantic story, and he does a great job connecting with his partner and the audience. To, to the point he actually got a second place. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, their challenge was to get connected and um, show that passion through the dance because they joke around and kind of consider each other uh, best buddies. But exactly. uh, I think it was pretty steamy last night, some of those moments there that we saw. He so. truly burned the floor, literally. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also tied for second place, someone who's kind of stumbled a bit and is maybe finding his way back on track, David Arquette, tied for second again with 25 points for their tango. Yeah, it was a really hot tango. I mean, I like the guy. He's really funny. I've always liked his comedy. And if you watch his dance, he's very clear, very clean lines. It was a simple dance, not as many moves, but again, that kind of hurt the scores a little bit. But if you watch them dance together, they look great. And he could be a contender for the top five places, I think. Well, we're uh, keeping it positive with our highlights of the uh, the top three, but we know someone will have to go home. We're getting to that part in the competition where those cuts are being made. We'll find out tonight right here on ABC 36. Who's getting sent packing? Uh, any predictions from you this time? Well, I do think maybe Chaz Bono has reached his limit. I mean, if you watch him dance, he's just having a lot of time with his health. He's, you know, he's having trouble keeping up with it. But you got to like the guy. Yeah. He's done a great job. And uh, Carson uh, Cressley is just so much fun. It's hard to vote <laughs> against him, but his scores just aren't getting no, any better. No, no, his <laughs> scores are not improving, and I don't know. It, he may not make it. You never know. But tonight's going to be interesting. It will, but it's been neat to see uh, this leaderboard change and uh, so, some new folks uh, getting the top scores. Again, you'll find out who's going home tonight, and right now we're going to give you a chance to win some dance lessons. Absolutely. For if you're watching this show and you're calling now, 278-7711, you're going to get two free lessons to get started learning to dance and get entered in the drawing to win 50 private lessons. So if you have like weddings coming up for your kids, for yourself, or parties for the fall, New Year's Eve, now's the time to call. 278-7711. If it's busy, keep calling, and we'll get you started learning to dance. All right. Well, thanks for being with us, and we will be right back with a check of your forecast. Things might be heating up on the dance floor, but it sounds like our temperatures are going to cool down as the week goes on.